before we push on, we need an environment that's going to allow us to explore Laravel Orion. So that's what we're doing in this video. It's going to be a little bit of work, but I promise it'll totally be worth it. So stick with me. So let's say Laravel new Orion to begin with, and that's going to go ahead and create us a fresh Laravel project. And that's done, so let's jump in there and then say composer require tail flow slash Laravel dash Orion. And when that's done, I'm going to open this in Visual Studio Code. There we go. Bring up our terminal. Another thing we're going to need is a way to actually access our API. So we're going to use Laravel Sanctum for that. Composer, require, but you can use something else like Laravel Passport if you'd, if you'd rather, or you can just use Laravel's native web authentication. But I find that's a little bit harder to test with. So Composer, require, Laravel slash Sanctum. That's going to bring in Laravel Sanctum. And then we can say PHP Artisan Vendor Publish. And now what we want is the service provider for Sanctum. Here it is here, Sanctum Service Provider, which is number nine. So don't just type in nine, make sure that you're actually getting the Sanctum Service Provider here. For me, that's nine. And now we need to migrate the database. Now, instead of doing PHP Artisan, I've actually got an alias, which is just art. So I'm going to use that from now on. So art, migrate. And of course that doesn't work because I need to set everything up. Jump into my environment variables. And let's set the username here to Luke, because that's what it is for my database. But you'll have to put in your own credentials. And for my local development, I've just set the password to secret to keep things simple. So now we actually need this database here, the Orion database. And to do that, I can just jump into MySQL by saying MySQL, the username is Luke, the password is secret, and we're in. Let's create a database called Orion. And it already exists because I already did this when I was trying it out. So behind the scenes, I'm going to delete that database. So that's done. Let's go ahead and try it again. Create database Orion. And it's done. So now we should have that database and we can say art migrate and it works. Nice. So we still have a little bit of Sanctum set up to do. Let's go to user.php and we can come up here and add a trait here, which is called has API tokens. And this is a special trait that basically gives us a little bit of extra functionality on the user class so that we can use Laravel Sanctum to give ourselves tokens and do all that cool stuff. Let's jump into auth.php now and make sure that we're actually using Sanctum whenever we access the API. So we simply change the driver there to Sanctum. Done. So that should all be working. Let's start using Postman so that we can make requests. Now, of course, you can make requests however you like. You can use curl, PHP unit, or something like Insomnia. But in this video, I'm going to use Postman because it's popular and it makes it easy to keep things uh, just nice and organized. So let's go ahead and open Postman and I'm gonna create a new workspace here. Let's call that workspace Orion and I'll just call this Orion Play as the description. And this is my personal workspace. Now let's go over here and create a new collection which we will call Orion. And while I'm at it, we'll jump into variables here and I'll set the API URL, API URL. And let's set that to localhost 8000 because that's what it is by default when you say PHP artisan serve. And we'll put in slash API as well. This is just gonna make it really easy so we can, we don't have to type this in every single time we create a new request. So now let's make some folders here. And we can do that by saying add folder. We're going to have a users folder that's basically so that we can test that everything is working. And then we'll create another folder and this is for posts. So when we start actually making Orion requests to posts, that's where all of those requests are going to sit in there. So let's come back here, PHP artisan serve. And we're going to need a user that we can start playing around with here. So let's say art tinker, and then we can create a new user. And that will be Let's say user factory, because by default we get a factory for users. Thank you, Laravel. Create. The name is going to be equal to Luke Diebold. So that's my name. And the email will be equal to luke at ldebold.com. 
All right. So there we go, that's done. Now we can actually create an API token. And to do that, we can say user create token, and let's just call it play. And now this is the only time you're going to be able to see that API token, so we need to copy it at this point. And by the way, this create token method, if I go to the user class, this has API tokens trait here. Let's just click into that. That's got the create token method. So that's why that's available to us there. This is a sanctum thing. So let's go ahead and copy that, jump back into Postman, and then we're going to make it so that we can actually use that token. So if we click on Orion here, and then we go to authorization, the type will be equal to bearer token, and we can paste that token directly in there. Now, one of the cool things about Postman is that it scopes your authorization. You can do this with variables, authorization, stuff like that using Postman. So if I go to the users folder now, for authorization, I can set it manually, or I can say inherit auth from parent, which is the default. That means that anything within this folder is going to use the authorization from the Orion collection. So basically this authorization here. And if we add a new request, we can also set a different type of authorization or inherit it from the parent. So basically what's happening here is we're inheriting authorization from there, which is inheriting authorization from here, which is using the bearer token authorization method. Hopefully that made sense. So let's come over here to this request now. And now we can say here API URL. So we'll use that variable and we'll say user as the endpoint. Send that through and there we go, it works. So the reason that's working is if we go to api.php, by default, we get this route here to user that is going to send us back the currently logged in user. So there we go, we've got an API that we can work with. And don't worry, the part where we get to actually use Orion is coming soon, I promise. There's one more thing we need to do, and that's to create a post model that we can actually turn into an Orion, into an Orion API. So let's go back here. I'm gonna exit that and then say, PHP Artisan make model. That's gonna be called post. Let's give it a factory so we can easily create new models. And let's also give it some migrations as well. And that's gonna go ahead and create that for us. The first thing I wanna look at is the migrations table. So let's say create post, there it is there. And if I come down here, a post is going to have a string, which will be the title. And it's also going to have some text, which is going to be the body of the post. Now we can say art migrate, and those changes have been applied. Next, we'll go to post.php. And if I come in here, we wanna set some fillable fields. This is all very lar basic Laravel type stuff. And of course, that's going to be equal to title and body. So those fields are now able to be filled. Next, we wanna be able to create data really quickly for a post. So let's go to the post factory, and that's going to have a title, which is equal to this. And let's grab the faker instance. And then we can just say a sentence. How about that? And then for the body, we'll do the same thing but instead of a sentence, let's say a paragraph there. Pretty standard stuff. Now let's go art tinker and see if all of that works by saying post factory, and we'll create a new post, and it works, we get a new post. Another thing we can do is say count, and let's see if we can make 10 new posts, and that worked as well. So we got a little bit of dummy data that we can have a little play with. And now is the moment that you're actually here for. Let's start using Laravel Orion. Now in the docs, it's recommended that we put a new folder in controllers that's called API. And this is gonna house all of our Orion related controllers. We'll create a new file in there called postcontroller.php. And let's go ahead and do this from scratch. But of course, you'd usually have like a snippet or some sort of a generator that creates this for you. So we'll set the namespace equal to app HTTP controllers API, and we're going to use 
Orion's controller here. So I'm going to say controller, and we're not going to be using controller out of Illuminate routing. So that's what you would usually use in your controllers. We're using a special thing that actually extends that, a special class, which is Orion's own controller. So let's go ahead and import that. And now we can say class post controller extends controller. Oop, and I've spelled that wrong. Let me just copy paste that into there. And now we can say protected model. So the model that we're actually going to use for this Orion controller is the post class. And I need to import post. So let me just do that again. There we go. And by the way, let me just prove what I was talking about before, where the controller extends Laravel's native controller. If we control click here and we click into there, yeah, notice here that we're extending Laravel's uh, controller there. So let's come back. And the last thing that we need to do is actually register this within our API routes file. So let's go api.php. We're going to come down here and I'm going to do things like they did it in the docs. We'll create a new group. And how about we say as, as it's done in the docs, API dot. So that means that the naming convention is going to be API dot post, for example. And now let's go function. So we'll put a closure in there. And now we can say Orion and we'll import that facade. This is going to be a resource route. And we'll pass it through posts because it's for posts and then post controller. And I imported that on the fly there. So if I come up here, notice that I've actually imported that. And there we have it. So we say Orion resource, this is the important line here because everything from now on, like when we create new resources, we'll be able to just copy paste that down and say, for example, comments, and then you'd say comments controller. All right, so basically we're saying when you go to API slash posts, we're going to be redirected to Orion's post controller, which will give us all of that magic behind the scenes. So this is actually done now. We can give it a test in Postman. So we come up here, we'll create a new request in here. It's going to be a get request and we'll use that API URL variable that we created earlier. And let's go to the post endpoint. Send that request. And this is exactly what we want. This action is unauthorized. So by default, Orion protects us by not allowing us to access any of these endpoints unless we have policies for them, okay? So we don't want to be, we don't want our users to be able to create posts, update posts, delete posts. We want to have some policies around that. So what we actually have to do is create a native Laravel policy, which is a piece of cake. We just say art make policy, and that's going to be a post policy. And now we can give it the model of post, which gives us a little bit of extra scaffolding. So now let's open that post policy. And there we go. We can put in all of the authorization logic here for create, read, update, delete, all your basic CRUD stuff. But what we want to do for testing purposes is basically say, hey, just authorize everything just so I can play around with things. So we can do that by saying public function before. So before you look at any of these authorization rules, run this logic here. And that's going to accept the user and the ability. All right, so if we were testing for view any, then the ability would be equal to a string called view any. And now we can just return true here. But what you would usually do is something like if user is admin, then return true. And if you did something like that, a user would then be able to access a post in any way that they like. All right, but for now, we're just going to return true, keep things simple so that we can play around with things. All right, so let's go back to Postman, send that through, and it works. How cool is that? So we've got all of our data in here. By the way, it's paginated as well. So we've got pagination. So notice this metadata field. It tells us the current page, last page, all of that useful stuff. It tells us the total number. So this is a fully featured API that Orion gives us out of the box so we don't have to build it ourselves. It's really awesome. But let's have a look at the other stuff we can do. How about we create a new request here? 
and this is going to be create. So we'll do a post request and we'll do that to the post URL. And now let's go to body raw. So we're going to send some data in this request to create a new post. And we'll make that a JSON request. Now we can just whack in some JSON here. How about a title that is equal to why I love to code? And let's give that a body of because I like solving problems and projects like Orion bring me joy. Awesome. So let's send that through and see what happens. Boom. It's created that post for us. How cool is that? And now if I come back here, send that request again, scroll down to the bottom. There it is there. It's been created. So the other thing that we can do is a get request. So let's create a get request that goes to our post slash, and then we want the ID there. So let's come back here. The ID of that post we just created is equal to 12. So we'll say slash 12. And there we go. It works. Of course, we can update as well. So let's add another request, which will be a patch request. And we'll call this update. And while I'm at it, let me just quickly rename this so that we're doing things properly. That was a read request. Okay, so we've got a patch request here that's going to go to that same endpoint. So we're going to update the post with an ID of 12. We'll go to body, raw, and that's going to be JSON. And let's type in here a new title. So we're going to update the title saying, I adore coding because I do. Send that through and now that's been updated. And just to prove it, let's go back to read, send that request, and then we can see that it has actually been updated. Really cool stuff. And then of course the last one is delete. So let's say delete here, API, let's go to that same endpoint again. This time it's going to be a delete request. And that's all we need, send it through. And it sends us the data back so that we can use it and do any other, you know, update stuff on the front end, for example, if we need to. However, if we come back to read, that result no longer exists in the database. Really awesome stuff. We get all of this for free with Orion, just with a few lines of code. And now if I open up the terminal here and I say art route list, and we look for all of our post routes. I'll zoom out a little bit here so you can see it. Hopefully that's not too small on your screen. Notice that we've also got search, which means that we can do a whole bunch of awesome filtering. I can't wait to show you all of that, but I'll do that in another video. We've also got batch requests here, so we can create, update, and delete posts, but in batches, which is really insanely cool and super annoying to write that code yourself. Orion gives it to us for free. And so in the next video, I'm going to cover the search functionality we get from Orion. I really think you're going to love it. It certainly made my life at work a whole lot easier. So thanks for sticking around with me. If this didn't blow your mind, then give me one more chance because the next video is going to be nuts.